Hello, good day and greetings one and all ladies and gentlemen. My humble name is the Shadow Cookie and I welcome you all back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. Today, you're up Charles Smith, you're gonna take the very spot of Mr. Christian Jordan. Even though that position is a little dangerous still though, you'll need to make us proud. Can you take a shot from here? 25% am I going to risk it and believe in lady luck? Even though I am not really a lady, I guess that's quite obvious. Nah, not really worth it. Instead, gonna place you on Overwatch, good sir. Alrighty then, bring it on, suckers! All of your friends are dead. What you gonna do about it, huh? You mad? You're hating, bro? You're hating? Oh, Jesus. There might still be two of them, because of that purple link they establish all the time. Oh dear. Not good. Oh, you missed, pal. Well, looks like your accuracy isn't much better than ours. However, if we want to take them out at all, we will need to approach them sooner or later. Hmm, Miss Leroy. Normally, I'd want you to storm right in there like the good old Leroy Jenkins. However, it might not be a very good idea. Behind that very street lantern, you will be able to hit them, but they will also be able to hit you. Uh, let's try to go with 25% for now. Of course. Well, that didn't work. Alrighty then. Doesn't matter though. Next turn I will move her into a different position for now though. Sir? Moral? I'm gonna move you in a little bit closer. Uh, is this really a good idea? Yeah, why the hell not? I believe in you, good sir. Yes, we all do. Sir... Jordan? I need to use him somehow as well, but I really don't want him to die. Just continue to be on Overwatch for now. Last but not least, Smith. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move you over here into better cover. There, this should work out. Alrighty then, once again, bring it on, sectoid scum. Still no idea what the hell you are doing over there. But I don't care, you're going to die either way. Whoa! Ah! Jesus! Oh my gosh, he has panicked. Whoa! Don't do it! Holy crap! So, Moral, I know it hurts quite badly. I know you've been shot and it hurts, but you need to calm down. We can still pull this off. This is only the first mission, and it is so very tense. Are you kidding me? Alrighty then. What can we do? Um, So, Moral? Well, he is totally out of it. He doesn't know what to do, and he is unwilling to move. He is going to die. Uh, I shouldn't have wasted all of my grenades. That bloody sackbird. He has a pal over there, hasn't he? Alrighty then, I don't think we have a choice. We don't have a choice at all, Miss Leroy. You need to be the brave one and jump down there. Oh, this is such a bad idea. But now I can see them. Yes, indeed, as expected, two of them. And that one guy in the back is doing something with his buddy in the front. They have some sort of mind link. And it is probably making them stronger. Only an assumption. As I told you, the sectors are definitely... Proving their worth this time around. They are no longer just meat shields. They want to have some fun as well Alright, you bastards. I have 65% chance to hit you and I am gonna go through with it. Therefore suck on this <laughs> Ooh, What you gonna do about it now, sir? Looks like your pal just decided to die. Oh, it's not my fault though You only wanted to shoot my soldiers. Good lord. How lucky are they? Like both of them freaking Freaking, what is his name again? Freaking, Morals got shot and Jordan both got shot and both have only one HP left. That's insane. Alrighty then, what would be a better position to take this guy out? Hmm. I could try to walk under the bridge to flank him like that, because he is in a rather lovely position. However, I think I am simply gonna try to flank him the normal way. Alrighty then, over here with you. Stay there for now, and enter Overwatch mode. There we go. Last but not least, now that this guy no longer has the ability to establish some sort of strange mind link, I think I can dare to move Jordan back behind good cover. Not just that though, but also gonna put him into... Really? He has a grenade? I didn't even notice. So Jordan, you still have a grenade, you bloody bastard. Uh, if only I could throw that one to my teammates. I don't know if that is possible. But for now, we are simply going to enter Overwatch again. Bring it on. You're the last one. I swear to God, we will kill you. We will murder your sorry ass. Don't you do it. Don't you... Mm. Whoa. 
but once again you missed. Good lord, I have to say, Miss Leroy is on a freaking luck streak, and you know what that means. I'm gonna try to take another shot with her. Alrighty then, what can you do? 45% chance to hit. Mm -hmm. If I don't take him out now, he may be able to retreat into better cover. Okay, Miss Leroy, you've got one more shot in your gun before you need to reload, and you've been lucky this far. Take him out! Let's do this, Leroy! <laughs> Off the fucking bridge into the abyss. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Yes, yes, of course, whatever, Dr. Valen. I don't exactly care right now. We'll get to know you very soon, I am sure. But we did it! Did you see that final kill? Wow, she shot that fucking sucker off the freaking, not bridge, but you know, down onto the street. Amazing! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I have to say that Operation Hidden Fall was a complete success. Alien abductions, London, United Kingdom, 2, 18 AM. Aliens killed, 6, rating excellent. Operatives lost, 0, rating excellent. Well, I do have to say, both Jordan and Morales, they got quite lucky. But in the very end, we did it. Oh yes, we did it indeed. This was a successful first mission, quite a scary one, but we are still alive and kicking. Therefore, these rookies have proven their worth. Let us return to base, shall we? Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. An honor to meet you, Sir Bradford. I'll keep your existence in mind. Very well, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. May I welcome you all to the Neo Sanctuary, our very XCOM base. And these are the results of Operation Hidden Fall. Let's take a look at them, shall we? <laughs> Good lord. Rookie Christian Jordan, gravely wounded, 10 days in the hospital. Thomas Morrill, also gravely wounded, 9 days in the hospital. They volunteered for this job, though, and they have proven Commander themselves to, the to be labs. Commander to the research labs. Good lord, Commander TSC is a wanted man. Gonna be in the research labs uh, in a few seconds. First of all, though, let's see. <coughs> Christian Jordan, sadly, zero kills. Aw, poor guy. But he has proven his worth, though. He sacrificed himself for the team, sort of. Um, Charles Smith kills one, has been promoted to a heavy, congratulations good sir, a British fella, Mary Leroy, three kills, promotion sniper, and she is from Belgium, eh? Last but not least, Thomas Morrow, a French guy I think, is that the French flag? Two kills, promoted to support. This team has proven their worth, and I am simply going to say that Christian Jordan, despite not killing a single creature, served as a meat shield. I think that is acceptable. Now then, apparently they've been promoted, so let's see what we can do with these fellas, shall we? The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad, with the rocket launcher in tow. There are demolitions experts. Thanks for the info, Bradford. <laughs> Would you look at that? Shaw Smith. New training available, fire rocket, eh? My British soldier, one mission, one kill, status active, HP plus one, you did well. And you're also looking quite heavy. Heavy armor, heavy weapon, to just the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Could you please shush about the research labs? You know what? We are gonna take a look at the very promotions in a second. Next up. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Oh, I'd say that is quite acceptable, good sir. Quite. New training, headshot. Okay, she's become a sniper, apparently. I like me some sniping. Last but not least, Thomas Morrow. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Training smoke grenade. Alrighty then, that's about it, and I am gonna take care of these soldiers very, very soon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, though, I'd like to check out what the hell is going on. 
put in the research lab so that they are going to shut up about it. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Alrighty then, I'll give the orders around here, that's for damn sure. Operation Hidden Fall once again. New research available. What do we got? Xenobiology, weapon fragments, alien materials, and also artifacts recovered. Six sectoid corpses and six Connected weapon fragments. Very lovely Connected indeed. And with all of that said and added away, ladies and gentlemen, may I finally welcome you all to the very base of XCOM. Yes, as you can see here, this is our base. Now, if only I could figure out how to move about. Hello? Not like that, apparently. That simply opens up the menu. Hello? How do I move about within my very base? Aha, uh -huh, like that, eh? Welcome to the Sanctuary, as I like to call it. Yes, indeed, this is going to be once again the Sanctuary, just like my very base within the first XCOM. So what do we got? Hmm, could this be the research center? Maybe. Well, I think I am simply going to check it out then. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. <sighs> Sounds good to me, Dr. Vellen, and finally we've met each other. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the research center, where all of XCOM's research takes place. Currently there is not a whole lot going on, but that is going to change very soon, now that I am giving the orders around here. And XCOM is of course all about researching new technologies, therefore let us begin right away, shall we? Gonna start a new research project. Yes indeed. What do we got? Aha, uh -huh. xenobiology first of all. Let's see. It is crucial that we gain a thorough understanding of the alien physiology in order to develop weapons and tactics better suited to combating them. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. I'll be there right away. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I am once again a busy commander indeed. Weapon fragments. These fragments are all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study could lead to advances in our own weapons development programs. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, alien materials. The aliens appear to have been using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've ever seen. A cursory examination has already given us ideas for ways to improve the soldier's current body armor, but more research is required. Alright then, so basically, we have a choice here. We can either go for better armor, better weapons, or better weapons and tactics apparently, better xenobiology, whatever the hell it's supposed to mean. Project cost for sectoid corpses, project cost 5 weapon fragments, project cost also 5 weapon fragments. Well, in the old XCOM games it was always very important to study armors and weapons right away. You saw how freaking dangerous those sectoids got, they almost took two of our rookies out. However, what should I go for? Xenobiology also sounds rather tempting. Hmm. I think I am simply gonna go for alien materials for the moment, therefore. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Listen, Dr. Velen, I am your commander and you are gonna listen to what I have to say. Alright, I realize that getting research projects and stuff is important, but it is also important to secure the survival of our soldiers, for without freaking their survival, there wouldn't be any research in the first place. I hope you learn a lesson from that. It's gonna take 8 days to research the alien materials, that is fine with me. Alrighty then, next up, let's head to engineering and see what that is all about. Ah, Commander, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. All right, then. I am at engineering. What else do you want? 
Alrighty then, here we are at engineering apparently, and they can build anything I also desire. Required I have already researched certain stuff and etc. Okay, at least we are already on track. You know, it's a new alien invasion, sort of, if you want to treat this like a sequel, which it really isn't, but anyway. And therefore we need to produce, produce, produce. Alright, I'll be at mission control very soon as well. Just please calm down and give me a minute. This is still so new to me. I've been on vacation for freaking years. And suddenly there's a new alien invasion going on. Cut me a break. Let's see, what can we build? Uh-huh, of course, a medkit. Our field deployable medkit can temporarily treat a soldier's wounds through the use of nanosutures and high potency stimulants. Hmm. Costs 25, also 5 engineers. Well, we have 5 engineers. Is there anything else we can build? Hmm. Apparently not at this moment in time. Aha! A satellite, eh? Wow, well that's not difficult to produce. Costs 100. An advanced renaissance satellite modified to detect the unique gravitational distortions caused by alien craft in flight. I think medkits are a little bit more important at this moment in time. Therefore, let us manufacture. Like, how many will be manufactured if I do this? And how quick will they be manufactured? Aha, there we go. Project duration immediate. Project cost 25. This weapon item can be used by all soldiers. Okay, I am gonna make... Hmm. Well, I don't have all that much money yet, so I wouldn't want to waste it all. Let us make two medkits for now, because they are important after all. Bingo! And yet another achievement has been unlocked at the moment I really don't care. Commander to mission control. You know what? I'll be at mission control in a few seconds. Just cut me a break, will you? Please cut me a break. Alrighty then, mission control is up here, isn't it? First of all though, I'd like to take a look at a few different places if that is at all alright. Like, what do we have down here? That, ladies and gentlemen, appears to be the XCOM satellite that picks up hostile activities. Mm -hmm. Underground, eh? Well, I guess it's practical. Look at that thing, wow. The uh, freaking details here are amazing. Gosh, I'm just standing here, observing the satellite all day long. Yep, it's certainly spinning around. Uh, now it moved down a little, picking up signals, yes, all day long. What else do we got? Here we have like some sort of maintenance shaft. All the way down here, caves, eh? Oh god, how, how freaking far down does this go? Very far down indeed. I presume we'll slowly but surely use up all of this freaking cave to expand our base, which is fine with me. Up here we have, of course, the hangar of the Sky Ranger, because we need a hangar like that, of course. Over here we have... Could this be mission control? Not really, just another control room. Well, it is nice to know that it is there, I guess. And over here... I'd say, ladies and gentlemen, as the final of today's episode, we will take a look at our very soldiers and promote them, shall we? Look at this. <laughs> there they are, on treadmills. Some of them just training away. Up here we have people within a bar. Oh, look at them rookies. They are still enjoying to play pool, but they don't know what's coming for them. Nope, not at all. Oh, you bloody fools, you're all going to die. I'll try to make sure that you won't die, believe me, but it may not always work out. Down here we have... Hmm, this could be the infirmary for all I know. Mm -hmm. And two people should be within the very infirmary. Alrighty then, where are the barracks at? View soldiers. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. In a second, alright? In a freaking second. Alright, then let's take a look at our two amazing soldiers. Here we have Charles Smith. Mission 1 kills 1 status active. You survived, good sir, which is quite amazing. Therefore, let us take a look at you, shall we? First of all, abilities. You are now a squaddy and can fire a rocket if you also desire. Well, that is amazing. I am looking forward to seeing that. Also, you gained one HP point. Amazing. Like that, you're not gonna die all that easily. Next up, what about your loadout? So, he is wearing body armor, something we have infinite amounts of, as well as an LMG. Other weapons not yet available. Rocket launcher, also infinite amounts, and a grenade. Hmm. So let's see, he can either carry a grenade or a medkit. Is that what I'm supposed to get from here? Hmm. 
I'd say I'm going to give him a med kit simply because they can be important. Last but not least, we can of course also customize our soldiers, but that is of course going to take time, going to take a long time indeed, and this episode has already gotten quite long. I am still new to it all, therefore ladies and gentlemen, I think, what do you say, should we end it here for now? Very well. <laughs> now please, my humble subscribers, don't cry. We are going to be back very soon, I promise. Also, I have to apologize if I am stalling time every now and then, if I am still moving about a little slow, but this is still also very new to me. I am enjoying this game greatly so far. I hope that you enjoyed this very first long session of XCOM, one hour, and when we'll be back? Well, you know what? I am going to configure at least one of my soldiers for now simply because I feel like it. And that soldier is of course going to be our British friend Charles Smith here. Let's see, I already have a name for you in mind, good sir. You killed one guy. First of all, your first name. It is time to bring back a few classics, right ladies and gentlemen? Time to bring back a few classics indeed. First name is going to be... Hmm, a tree? Yes indeed. First name, a tree? <laughs> Last name with apples. And that is not how you spell it at all. I am so amazing. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, a tree with apples has returned to serve in the field. We are proud of you, man. We are proud to have you back. I can't even remember if you died or not within the original, but doesn't matter, for he is back. He can't have a nickname, though. Why can't he have a nickname? That makes me a little sad. Oh well, let's see. How can we customize this fella? For example, helmet. Hmm, helmet apparently equals hair in this case. Let's see. What kind of hair can we give you? Let's start all the way at the top. I think he can continue to be the very race he is currently. Next up, what about his voice? Roger that. Mm -hmm. That's affirmative. Solid copy. What would you imagine a tree with apples to actually Command sound like? Shush, with your commission for whatever control room, I don't care. Yes, Commander. I'm on it, Commander. Solid copy. Affirmative. Yes, Commander. Hmm. I think I like number four. Yes, Commander. This one. Got it covered. It sounds very calm, like he is assessing the situation. Yes, I do think a tree with apples is going to sound like that. Next up, his very ho 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 ho. Oh my god. His very head. What is he going to freaking look like? Maybe I should simply allow him to look the way he looked before. Was this how he looked before? I think so. What about the hair though? Like what kind of haircuts do you have in the military? Commander, is this the kind of hairstyle a tree with apples would wear? <laughs> well, I need to give him a different color of course. Hair color. What about... Let's see, come on. Please tell me, oh yes, something like that. A tree with apples with frigging red hair. That is, that is just amazing. And yes, he's gonna look like that. A tree with apples, oh my gosh, dude. It's great to have you back. Facial hair, let's see, what do we got? Do we have like a, oh my. <laughs> oh my, this is amazing. Mm, I'd say this is alright for the moment. Last but not least, armor deco? Not all that important yet, but what about armor tint? Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a tree with apples <laughs> has been reborn? I think this looks rather freaking sweet, but do we also have like a brown color? You know, because a tree is brown most of the time. Good lord, do we have many colors available. This is amazing. I think he's gonna stay as red as this for now. A tree with apples. What about armor deco? Oh my, I see, so the armor changes. We have two available, either this very heavy looking thing, or the very first armor. I think you can wear the very first one for now. Very well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say this is it. A tree with apples has been reborn. A tree with apples, the heavy squatty. He is back to kick some extraterrestrial R's, yeah. Oh sir, it is great to have you back. You look so like a freaking I don't even know. That's a lovely rocket launcher. <laughs> He's freaking yellow at the backside. That is not what a tree with apples would look like. But not that I particularly care, but let's see. How does this work again? 
armor tint. Can you also? Ah, yes. Let's go back to that other red design just to see the differences. Hmm. I think this looks a little bit more professional. Yeah, I'll go with this design. Thank you very much. A tree with apples. Welcome. It is an honor to have you aboard. Next up, the final thing we will take care of today. Squatty Mary Leroy! Yes indeed, the Squatty Sniper. She killed freaking three aliens within the first mission and has become our most valuable teammate. Oh, she deserves a very special name indeed. Abilities? She has learned the headshot ability and also gained one HP point. That is lovely. Loadout. Not a whole lot we can do with her other than maybe give her a medkit, but for now... I'll just have uh, True with Apples have the other freaking thing imaging. Now then, let us customize her. What do we got? The name will be decided, uh, I'd say, first. You know? I am actually very tempted to name her after my girlfriend, <laughs> simply because she's proven to be such an amazing fighter. Yes, why the hell not? Her name is going to be Lamia, because that is her nickname. Lamia Bisby. I told you I'd do it, honey. I told you. And there we have her. Next up, she'll need to look a little bit more like my girlfriend, though. And this is kind of weird, but let's see what we can do here. Let's see. First of all, um, the hair color needs to be different. It needs to be brown. Like, let's see if we got the kind of brown. Even though I think she definitely appreciate this. <laughs> Green, blue, Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh, these hair colors can be ridiculous. Uh, this is a little bit too light still. Hmm, this is more like it. Next up, let's see what can we do with her face. Um, where's the face again? Head, here we go. Darling, I know for a fact that you are watching this currently, and I am so very sorry. I highly doubt we'll find something that looks like you. Probably not, but oh, what the hell. You know that this is going to be you. Yes, indeed. Not exactly on the outside, but the inside, heart and soul, might say the space is acceptable. Next up, hair. Let's Commander see, what kind of hairstyles control. can we make? Commander to mission control. Hmm. More and more. Oh my gosh. Well, this looks kind of interesting, actually. This is what I had imagined my girlfriend to look like if she would actually head out into the freaking fight. <laughs> Amazing. Whoa. Well, that works as well, I guess. <laughs> uh, that is not my taste at all, though. You know what? She can look like this for now. She looks like a freaking fighter. Oh, yeah. Is there an even darker hair color, by the way? Hmm. Yes, there is. It's a little bit too much on the green side, though. If it only could be a little bit more brown. Hmm. But we've already passed by every single hair color, therefore... It can stay like this for now. Next up, what's left, of course, the armor tint. And I have an idea as to what I am going to do here. Let's see. This is going to ignite fear within the hearts of the aliens. Ah, yes, of course! A pink set of armor. Oh, darling. You're gonna love me for this, right? You're gonna freaking love me for this. Let's see. Last but not least, the voice. Yes, Commander. Mm. Good to go. Solid copy. Aye, aye, Commander. Got it covered. Solid copy. Commander Good to go. Mission control. Affirmative. Commander Not too many options available, sadly, but... Solid copy. That's affirmative. Good yes, I'd say... I'm gonna stick with that voice for now. There we go. <laughs> Amazing. Lamia Bisby has been born. Last but not least, the skin color needs to be... Not like that. A little lighter. Commander there we go. Perfect. And I'd say that is about going to be everything for today's session of Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. Ladies and gentlemen, my humble name is Mr. TSC, aka The Shadow Cookie. I hope, once again, that you enjoyed this first long session of XCOM, and I will see you all next time. Did you enjoy it? Does it remind you of my very first XCOM Let's Play? Please, leave me your very thoughts and opinion in the comment section below. Also, 
also like the videos please 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 like please really only with more R appreciate them if you want to like them etc etc subscribe if you haven't already last but not least do you want to become a member of the XCOM squad well here's your chance simply leave a description within the comments telling me about what you want to look like your name and everything blah 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 just keep in mind that not everyone can become a soldier due to the squad limit of only four people still though you will get your chance eventually I promise most of you and if not hey there's always another day for rookies will certainly die yeah until next time